What is up guys? It is Brian from Cross Coast Gaming and today we have another Java tutorial or Java game programming tutorial. So when we left off last time, you can see we have a square on the screen and a line attached going diagonally up to the left. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to do something that's going to help us in the long run a lot, I think. And uh, it's something that might not be covered in other tutorial series, but I find super helpful. So we're going to make a helper class, as I like to call them. So go to your data package, right click it and go to new package and name it helpers. And inside here, create a new class. And this one, we're going to create an artist is so what I call it. You can call it what you want, but it might be easier to call it the same thing as me for the tutorial. And the artist class is going to be pretty much handling a lot of the direct translation from what we want to do in the game to kind of handling the OpenGL and uh, lightweight Java game library translation into all that code and stuff so that we can abstract that and make it really simple to use in our boot class and our other game classes without having to worry about, you know, all this stuff here. So the first thing we're going to do is create two public static final ints. And usually when you hit final or when you type final, you name the variable in all capital letters. So we're going to do that. So the width was 600 and the height was 400. And we set this back in our boot class earlier. And below this, we're going to make a public static void begin session method. And we're going to go to our boot class and we're just going to take all this code from the model view up to the set title. Copy that and get rid of it. Go to the artist class and paste it in there. And then what we can do in our boot class is where all that code used to be, just type begin session, the same as our uh, method name. And we need to import our helper now. So at the top, go to import static helpers, which is the name of our package, dot artist, which is the name of our class, dot star. And this is similar to what we did earlier. And we're just going to say import everything inside the artist class. So we now have access to both of these width and height variables as well as this begin session method. So import that, type begin session here, and let's save it and run it. And you can see that it works. So what we did is we took all the stuff that was in the boot class and kind of abstracted it and moved it to the artist class. So we're going to be working a lot in the boot class for stuff that's important to the game and, uh, doing a lot of kind of work about, you know, drawing quads and textures inside the game and managing other parts of that. And the artist class is kind of just going to exist for us to uh, reference the more nitty gritty kind of drawing stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.